Shalom, Yashara. I don't want to get infinite honors to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shine, by Hashem and Kakutash. I want to give divine honors to our teachers, the pastors of Great Millstone. And salutation to my fellow laborers in Yahweh Shah, pushing his true cross for wins in these last days, seconds, and times. Laboring for their penny, the kingdom of heaven, peace and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, man. To the elect, man. All right. The brothers on um, the sign of crime for the abominations going around about us and the brothers that are. Uh, uh, spirits should be happy, man, because our salvation is nigh. All right. Um, we see all these prophecies popping up, popping up. Uh, people in the frenzy, uproars of the people, pestilence. All right, earthquakes in diverse places, man. I mean, hey, our great King, second coming to the planet Earth, uh, is upon us, man, and it's it's a great time we're living in. But it's a time to stay focused, you know. Don't um, count the chickens before the hatch because we still got a lot to go through. But it's, it's still a beautiful time to live in, all right? Jacob's trouble hasn't just, you know, technically started, you know. It's upon us, but it hasn't technically started. So we got to buffet ourselves, fast, pray, and um, stay focused. But with all that being said, man, all right, this devil is about to go down no matter what. This kingdom is crumbling and it's on, on life preservers and somebody in the most high is about to <coughs> press that switch and turn the machine off, man. Okay? People are scared about this frenzy, but the ultimate, I'm going to get on this topic, the ultimate um, the ultimate calamity that's, that's going to uh, destroy Babylon where she never rise again is these missiles, man. All right? Yes, we're about to get the pestilence. Up, um, you're about to have martial law. All right, but the ultimate thing that's gonna uh, put the nail in this place's coffin is those nickels, those missiles. That's the cleanup crew, man. All right, and that's gonna be the best day ever, man. That's the day our our great king is gonna enter the atmosphere, man, in the fathership, man, and redeem his his sanctified ones, his ordained ones, his anointed ones, his precious things. All right, the ones he ordained to uh. Coming to the kingdom of heaven before time, man. Before he put our spirits in these uh, physical vessels, man. All right? So, uh, you know, we occupied in prophecy. So, I'm going to get into the topic of these missiles, man. The cleanup crew. All right? What the pestilence don't kill. What the famine don't kill. All right? What the gallon the gun don't kill. The uproars and the people don't kill. This the cleanup crew. So it is going to be uh, zero survivors, man. This the cleanup crew we about to go into. All right, this is Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that burned up the coals in the fire. And that's Robert Oppenheimer, a devil. The most I put the spirit on him and gave them the knowledge to create the atomic bomb, man, to split an atom, all right? So that's the smith the, smith the most I talk, talking about, all right? He got the devil in the trick bag. The devil cried and was happy. He came, um, he got a hold of this, this type of power. But he's in a trick pad, that trick bag. That same power is going to, was what's going to make him meet his demise, man. All right? That's why the most I say the deceived and the deceiver are his, man. All right? They think they got the ultimate power and they're the bully on earth because of their nuclear arsenal. But their nuclear arsenal is going to be what brings them down. Okay? And that bring a fourth an instrument for his work. That's those nuclear missiles, man. All right. The end of days is going to end with a, a nuclear, nuclear holocaust, man. All right. And I have created the waste to destroy. All right. And the waste of the so-called white man, the nation of Edom, the Hebrew Edomites, man. OK. Wherever they go, death and hell follow, man. All right. They're the sons and daughters of perdition that will go into judgment, man. That are going to be judged and put into slavery. All right. All right. So like you. OK get another passage uh we get a uh, revelation all right and this is what this this nuclear missile is going to do this revelation 18 and 10 all right standing afar off for the for the fear of her tournament and we're talking about you know what i'm gonna start at the top all right this is revelation 18 and 2 and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying babylon the greatest fallen america Babylon the Great is America, all right? Back then when John the Revelator uh, 
got this ho this hologram, this vision, okay? Ancient Babylon had already been taken down by the Medio Persian Empire, all right? They were conquered and they never rose again in power. So this Babylon that our uh great king gave this vision to uh to our big brother John to document is talking about a kingdom that wasn't on the earth while he was writing down these uh beautiful chapters, these prophetic chapters. Okay, and that's talking about this place where the, the Boca the Israelites are right now in captivity. This is talking about America. Babylon the Great is in America. Um, uh, when you read Revelation 17, it's the whore that sit on many waters. You all right? Matter of fact, let me get it right fast. I mean, the mother of harlots, Salakia. Uh, when you read Revelation 17 and 5, it say, and the before her name was written, Mystery Babylon the Great. And the reason it's a mystery because the, the, this place that he wrote about 2,000 years ago wasn't uh, even born yet, okay? That was the mystery, Mystery Babylon the Great, all right? That's America, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. All type of wickedness go on in this place. There's nothing under the sun that's wicked that don't go on here. If you want to get in some type of perversion or some or deal with any type of foul spirit, you'll find it here in Mataferia, in, in, in America. From here, from pedophilia to bestiality to cannibalism to witchcraft to voodoo, whatever you want to find, uh, find is here in America. Okay. All right. It said Babylon, the greatest fallen. It is fallen. All right, and we're gonna see how it fell. We'll go down to verse ten. Standing afar off. All right. You know what? I'm gonna start at the. All right. Let's we'll start at verse 9. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived delicious with her shall bewail her and lament her when they see the smoke of her burning. Now, what's going to make her burn is what we just read about in Isaiah the 54 chapter. The, the, the smith that made that atomic bomb, okay? And the, and the missiles that they have now in these nuclear arsenals are 10 times stronger than that atomic bomb that uh, Robert Oppenheimer dropped on uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. All right, it's ten. They have missiles that are ten times stronger than those. Okay, standing afar off for of, for the fear of her torment, saying, "Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come." Okay, so why does it say in one hour? This is one literal hour. This is not a spiritual hour. All right, because it takes thirty minutes for uh. One miss one missile to reach the other side of him. ICBM missile takes 30 minutes to get from one hemisphere to the next. All right. So it's gonna take an hour for all those missiles just to destroy these places. Man, an hour is fast, man. In fact, when I get up in the morning and get ready to go, an hour is not enough time for me to get ready and to go to do what I things I have to do. I, sometimes I have to set the clock two hours or an hour and thirty minutes. When you get up. You want to take your shower, take your bath, brush your teeth, get your clothes, read a couple of scriptures, make sure your house in order. By the time you did all that shit, an hour has gone by so fast. Fix you something to eat. Man, an hour is nothing. All right. So this place is going to be destroyed in an hour because of these nuclear missiles that's going to come from the U.N. And every country that has nuclear capabilities and they're going to be coming from Russia for the most part. OK. All right. Standing far off of her term and saying, alas, that great city of Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgments come. All right? So let's see exactly how they're going to come. Let's see how the most high going to do this, man. I'm about to go to, uh, I'm about to go to uh, the book of Joel 2. Start at the top, okay? All right. This is Joel 2 and 2. A day of darkness and gloominess. A day of thick clouds and thick darkness. As the morning spread on the mountains. A great people and a strong. And they have not been, not been ever the light. Neither should there be any more after it. Even the years of many generations, all right? You're never going to see nothing like this, man. 
what we about to see in these last days, all right, all these catastrophes and calamities, man, all right, after all this is done, all right, and this is a great movie our Heavenly Father depicted, man. This is the the most action-packed horror film, horror film, and at the end of the story, it's like a love film with the elect. That bride is going to meet our great king, Yahweh Shah, man. So it's the greatest love story, the greatest action-packed horror, just action-packed horror flick, <laughs> all rolled up into one enchilada, man. All right? The... The, the salvation of the Israelites, all right? The destruction of, of the bad guy, the Edomites, all right? All of the other nations, the extras going into slavery, man. This is a beautiful movie, man, all right? A day of darkness, a gloomness, a clouds, and a thick darkness, all right? As the morning spread upon the mountains, on the governments, all the nations on the earth, a great people and a strong, they have not been ever the light. Neither shall there be any more after, even the years and many generations, because all of the nations, all of the government are going to go to uh, come out for war. All the nations are going to be in battle already. And guess what they're going to be shooting? World War Three is going to be nuclear, man. All these nations don't, are not making these nuclear missiles and, and putting them in silos so they can collect dust, man. They wet and they swore, man. They're getting them ready for the battle. The Most High mustered up the battle. He controls the hearts of the kings of the earth, man. They about they about to press these buttons, man. And I got a I got a I got a uh, gift for you at the end of this sit down. All right, a fire divide before them, and, and behind them a flame burning. All right, then you talking about nuclear missiles, man. All right, none of this shit can happen in the ancient world, where you got a fire that just annihilates the whole land at one time, man. And within an hour, it's, they didn't have that type of technology in the ancient world. All right, this brother Joel uh, was was. In the spirit, and the most I showed him a hologram, a man, a visual depiction of the end times. Okay, the land is as the Garden of Eden before them, lush, green, all right, life, all right, and behind them a desolate wilderness. That's what these missiles are gonna do, it's gonna turn the earth into a desolate wilderness, man. Yeah, nothing shall escape them, all right. So that's what these missiles are gonna do, it's gonna make this earth a desolate wilderness. Let me get a precept for that. Uh, let me get a preset. Isaiah 13. Oh, where exactly is that? Isaiah 13 and, and here we go. We start at 19. And the Bab and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldeans' excellency, shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Adam. Hey, that was like a nuclear-like power, nuclear-like power that destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. All that fire that came up in heaven and just burnt them to ash and smoke. Ash and, yeah, ash and smoke, man. All right? So the Most High say is going to be just like Sodom and Gomorrah. He's going to burn it with fire when he destroys it. And he's going to do it through these ICBMs. And it shall never be inhabited. That's what we was reading about just in Joel. Neither shall it be dwelt from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pinch tit there, all right, these Arabs and all these corner skulls licking our wounds. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, all right? This is going to become a desert, all right, uh, for, for animals that can live after a nuclear blast. And their houses shall be full of doleful creatures. These are uh, animals that live, can live through radiation after a nuclear blast over time. And owls should dwell there. Well, I don't think an owl is one of them, but owls is going to end up over here in America, okay? And and satires shall dance there, all right? And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desert places, and the dragons in their pleasant places, okay? But this place is going to become a desert, a barren land, man. It's going to be a place of cockroaches and, and, and insects that live after a nuclear blast, lizards and in them and and the amphibian, you know, uh, reptiles that live in deserts and shit, man. That's what's going to be here. This is going to be the forbidden zone, like um, in that movie Planet of the Apes, man. All right. So let me get back to Joel, the second chapter. All right. And where was I? I was at, uh, it was like the Garden of Eden. I didn't get that far yet. All right. Oh. Uh,
All right, here I am. And behind them, a desolate wilderness. That's why I went to that. This place is going to be a desolate wilderness, a fucking desert. Yeah, nothing shall escape them, man. Nothing can, when a nuclear mill hit, hits the ground, all right, you, even those guys is going to be in bunks, bunkers here in America, man. The most I'm going to send 200 million mil, missiles here, man. So you can't go up far enough under the ground to get away from them, man. All right? Nothing shall escape them. My Heavenly Father, when he say nothing shall escape, that means there will be no life left here. No human being is going to escape uh, these missiles if you're on the landmass of America, man. Okay? The peers are them as it the peers of horses. And as horsemen, so shall they run. He's talking about these miss these missiles. They're gonna be in battle array, all right? Because they're gonna be controlled by the angels, by the most high. All right, none of them gonna miss their mark. Like the noise of chairs on the top of mountains shall they leap, like the noise of a flame of fire to divide the stubble as a strong place set in battle array. Before they face the people shall be much pain, and their faces shall be gathered blackness, because you got TVs and shit. People going to see that the buttons have been pressed and they know their face is going to be black because they know they're about to die. They know they time, that, um, they time to give up the ghost is not. And they shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. And they shall <coughs> march everyone in his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. Not one missile going to break his rank. And not one missile going to meet this whore, man. He going he gonna, to he gonna, he gonna spoil this whore. He going to give it a business, man. Okay? All right. And they shall walk everyone in this path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not wound. That's talking about that defense, missile defense system. That shit is going to be obsolete. They shall run to and fro in the city. And they shall run up on the wall and climb upon the houses. And they shall enter in the wilderness like a thief. They're just going to devour the landmass. You've seen the depictions of nuclear blasts. How that first you had that, um, that first wave. All right. That heat wave. And then after that, then that hot lava just covers and licks the whole land. It just, that water just liquefy or whatever it is, just come through the windows. It just devours the whole land, licks the whole land up like water, man. All right? And they shall climb up upon the houses, and they shall enter in the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them, all right? You're going to have earthquakes. All that power is gonna gonna have have earthquakes. The heavens shall tremble, the sun and moon shall be dark. All right, all that debris, all that smoke, all that burning, going up into the heavens, man. You gonna have a nuclear winter over here, man. All right, in the summertime, it's gonna be ice cold because all it's gonna take forever for that years and years for all that smoke to clear. All right, and 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 the sun and moon shall be dark, and the stars shall. Shall struck will draw their shining. Let me get another piece of uh, Nahum. All right, what that passage at? about that glittering spear? Here we go. Nahum three and one and three and three. The horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and that glittering spear. That's those nuclear missiles. At the end of it, you see that fire. See Nahum. These prophets seen that shit. They lived all those thousands of years ago, but they was looking at something in the modern times. The only uh, words in, 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 in their addiction was uh, the best thing he could say was a glittering spear. He couldn't say ICBM missile. All right. He couldn't say that when he saw that fire coming from behind. He said a glittering spear, man. And there is a multitude of slain, a great number of carcasses. There is no end of their corpse. They are stumbled upon their, their corpse. And I can give you a number, 300 million. It's depicted that 300 million people live here in America, man. So when 300 million bodies, there's no end of it. But the majority of these bodies are going to be smoking ashes, man. All right? You ain't going to be tripping over shit. Okay? You know? There's going to be no end to that corpse. You, you might have those burnt crips bodies, and when you step on them, they just crack. That's the corpse it's talking about. You just be like charcoal. You know what I'm saying? All right? Uh, what else I want to get? What's something else I want to get? Um, there's plenty I'm gonna get about these missiles. Uh, uh, oh, I know what I want to show. I want to show that it's only gonna take 30 minutes from one to get hit up from Russia. Let me start off with this. It's Revelation 8 and 1. And when he opened the seventh seal, the seventh seal is when the missiles come. That's the last destruction. The seven, the seven seals are, 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 are different judgments, okay? It's different judgments, all right? 
So when that seven seal hit, that's when the nucleus, the missiles are going to get let loose. And there was silence in heaven about a half the space of a half an hour. That's how long it takes for one mil missile to reach one hemisphere to the other. 30 fucking minutes, man. So I'm about to give you a visual depiction, man. I'm about to uh, play this clip. Check it out. All right? And it's going to be a beautiful day because during that time, that's when our great king is going to beam up his elect. All right? He's going to separate. The ghost from the sheep, man. And then the time, in that 30 minutes when the missiles is coming, that's when our great king will make his grand entrance, man, to deliver his men. Okay? So with that, I'm going to give infinite honors to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai by Hashem and Karkadash. I'm going to give double honors to our teachers, the pastors of Great Millstone, and salutations to my fellow laborers in Yahweh Shai, pushing this truth for the four winds. Quam Yasharala, Baba Baba.